I'm Keith Sims, and this is my lovely wife, Tia Sims. We homeschool our boys, and we travel around the United States as part of the homeschool, enjoying this great country and educating our boys, having fun. <laughs> So I'm a retired professional football player, and when I retired, my wife here had this brilliant idea that uh, we travel around and see the country and homeschool our boys. Coming from professional football, where you travel a lot, you get used to hotels and airplanes and all those things, when she came up with the idea of RV travel, I gotta be honest, I was a little hesitant. I was a little concerned about being a large man in a small space with three little boys and my wife. Careful. But he, but eventually, I came around to recognize how great it was for the family. It truly brought us closer together. It brought our boys closer together. I realized and recognized that even though I traveled all around the country, I really didn't get a chance to see most of this country. I didn't get a chance to experience some of the best things out here in the United States. I didn't get a chance to walk around and hike and, and explore town. So you, you wore me down. <laughs> I will say thank you, honey, you wore me down. And I recognized that this was not only good for our family, but it's really good for me as well. It brought me closer to my family. It took that time where I was away. Now they're with me, so I don't have to be away from them even though I'm working and on the road. It has definitely turned out to be quite a blessing. Our boys have gotten much closer as siblings and the fact that we're able to keep them around us 24-7 <laughs> has given us a better feeling of who our boys are and, and where they're going as young men. Homeschooling on the road is not always easy. I gotta be honest with you, it's probably the most rewarding job I've ever had. To see them and their faces light up and just be eager about learning and it makes our job easy sometimes. We sit back and we're amazed sometimes. We might take them to a, to a science center and they just can't wait. They're running up to the door and they could spend all day there. And what we're seeing in our kids through homeschooling and travel, like this learning is really becoming ingrained as part of their soul. I like homeschooling RV because I can travel at the same time doing school. I get to see new places where once I get kids, I can show them. We're here in Albany, Georgia, Chihaw Animal Park and Campground. And we're here because we're spending a couple days exploring the zoo, visiting family, just getting out in nature. We're camping here at the campground and there's a zoo attached which has our kids totally enthralled. It really enhances the boys and their homeschooling. Getting an opportunity to go out and see the animals up close and personal and really learn a lot about the animals. The boys have had a blast here. We're extremely blessed to be able to bring the boys out on field trips and include that into our homeschooling curriculum. I think one of the things that we've learned with homeschooling, it opens up opportunities like this to add to our travel, but at the same time add to their education. And I just want to offer them a love of learning, and I think this lifestyle, traveling, gives them the greater opportunity for that love of learning. Today's experience was, we didn't, had, had no clue it was going to impact us the way it did. We had an opportunity to feed a rhinoceros. And you've seen them in books, you've seen them in movies. I have to be up close and personal and feed that 2,000 pound animal blew my mind, totally made our trip. Got a chance to go to the Albany Civil Rights Center, a place we had never been. We uh, researched it online and found it was a key cog in the civil rights movement. And we were kind of blown away by what we learned. We learn as much as our kids do during homeschool. You know, going to this center today and, and recognizing that it was a huge catalyst in the civil rights movement and that a lot of the principles that were used successfully started here in Albany, Georgia. That was awesome because we have been studying that 
and that's part of our history curriculum. So the kids got to learn firsthand from some people that actually lived in this area. I think that the way that we're doing homeschooling and bringing in those museums, that it brings the books to life. There is no way that I could have given them the information or the information would have even come across to them the way that I wanted it to, just reading it off of a piece of paper. Going to the museum, actually getting to see the artifacts that were used during that time, I think really hit home for them. I know it did for me. Now I've talked to my friends and family about this and they've seen what we do now. And at first they were very not supportive. <laughs> They thought we were actually crazy for wanting to go out camping. I think they didn't understand what camping really meant, especially in an RV. But now they've kind of caught the bug and they're coming along with us on certain trips. And some of them have actually purchased campers since we've started going out on the road. So I think this is a bit of a contagious <laughs> experience. Home is where you park it. For us, wherever we take our bus, as long as we're together, it doesn't matter where we are. That's home. That's where our family is. If you're just thinking about it, if you're curious about it, go ahead and try it. You might surprise yourself. You might not want to go back home. Take this time. Don't let it escape you. Because at the end of the day, what we've discovered, it's not about things. It's about memories. It's about experiences. That's what you will cherish later in life. Those memories last forever. <laughs>